Hi, I'm Jensen, an account manager here at Health, dedicated to making your setup and transition to Health as smooth as possible. My goal today is to help you get set up and on your way with some quick and easy steps. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to health.com and we're gonna click this add to Slack button. This is going to prompt you to log into your workspace, accept permissions, and you'll see that we're now inside of happytohelp.help.com. If you go back to Slack, you'll also notice that the app has some instructions to get started. So now you can see that Help is installed into your Slack workspace. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to set up a private triage channel. What we'll do is we will create that channel. We're going to make it private. This is going to limit the access of who can see your tickets, who can reply to tickets, um, and edit tickets from this triage channel. I'm going to call this IP triage. I'm going to go ahead and create it. I'm also going to invite help. And this is going to default this as my default triage channel. The next thing we're going to do is create a public Ask IT channel. So this is going to be a place where all of my users in Slack can come in, they can ask questions, we can create tickets. Um, if you already have a channel that has this use, you can just invite help to it as well. And we can see that this is now uh, a default channel, people can join it, and it's public. Last thing I need to do is invite help to my Ask IT channel. end users can come into this Ask IT channel. They can post any questions they have, any issues they have. So look, we have our first one. Tori's computer's on fire. What we're gonna do is add the ticket emoji. That's our trigger that creates the ticket. It's going to create a ticket for Tori. So this is the message she's gonna get as well. And it's gonna say, hey, your ticket number three, somebody's on the case. You'll also notice that it has bolded my IT triage channel. This is my agent version of this ticket. I can go ahead, assign it to somebody else. I can edit it and say, oh, you know what? This is a hardware issue. I can also ping Tori and say, hey Tori, did you try throwing some water on it? Perfect, so now Tori's gotten my response. She's going to try to fix her issue. And then once this ticket is complete, we can go ahead and close that ticket. Awesome. So I can close this ticket. It will mark as closed in my triage channel. I still have a history of it. And she's given us a thumbs up. So said that we did a great job. Next, we'll navigate back to our help admin panel. So this is going to be your domain.help.com. We're going to use the settings gear to go to our admin panel. That's gonna be on the right-hand side by your avatar. And from here, you're gonna start seeing this general section. What this is showing you are all of your default settings that affect help on a global level. Now we'll navigate to the recipe builder. This is going to be the recipes that trigger things to happen within our help instance. So you can see when a message is marked with an emoji, ticket, it's going to assign the agent to the ticket, the agent who triggered the recipe. It's also going to do things like when it's marked with that emoji ticket, it's going to create a ticket. We can add different recipes. They have different triggers and actions that come from it, and it's completely customizable. We're also gonna look a little bit into this field builder. So from here, you can create different custom fields that allow you to edit, prioritize, and create a little bit more context around your tickets. I'm gonna add a field IT category, and this is gonna be a dropdown. And let's have options like hardware and software. So now that I have these specific custom fields set up, I have the recipes I want to use, I can go back to Slack and I can start making tickets. Again, this is Jensen, an account manager at Health. Thank you so much for joining. Drop us a line if you have any questions. We're always happy to help.